Hi guys, it's Michelle. I'm going to be showing you how I made this mirror for my craft room. Um, just in case you were interested in trying to make a mirror for somewhere in your home, I thought I would go ahead and share this with you. So let's jump right in. Okay, I picked up some of these gemstone stickers. Uh, they are by Jot. Very good quality stickers. Um, and they also have the adhesive on the back. Um, I'm going to be using one white foam board. I'm going to be using these 5x5 five five mirrors and I'm going to be using two 8x10 mirrors and I'm going to remove them from their frames. Okay so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to the very corner of the foam board and I'm going to line up five mirrors and then I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue them down to the foam board. And they're just going to be very close to each other, bumped up to each other. And I'm just going to glue them down using some hot glue. You could definitely use E6000 or any glue that you have on hand, but I know that hot glue will hold these mirrors onto the foam board. Okay, so once I get that down, now I'm going to put all the other mirrors in place at the top and at the bottom but I'm not going to glue those two in the in the center down yet I'm going to glue the one on the very left corner first and I'm going to be doing that is because um, the two larger mirrors are going to go in the middle and they're going to kind of sit up underneath those mirrors a little bit and so um, that's why I'm, I'm putting on the outside mirrors first and if you don't put it on in this order, you may have some trouble actually fitting the mirrors in between. So if you do this, make sure you follow the same, um, the same order of steps so that you don't have any problems. So I'm going to put glue down the two corners first, and then I'm going to glue down the center mirrors next. And I'll make sure this this ensures that um, they will fit properly. Now the two larger mirrors, the two eight by ten mirrors, I'm gonna do a dry fit. So I'm gonna put them here in the center and kind of you know figure out where they need to go. And I'm just gonna put hot glue on the back side of them. Now they're gonna sit below. Um, they're going to sit below the two smaller mirrors at the top and the bottom just a little bit. So that's why I wanted to glue them in place first. And that's so that it looks more like a frame around the mirror versus having these two on top. So that's why I'm doing that. So once I get those two down in place, I'm going to then glue the two mirrors at the top glue those down and then I'm going to glue down the two mirrors at the bottom and see how they kind of sit a little bit above those mirrors those those larger mirrors are actually much thinner um, than the 5x5 five five mirror so it works out great I just make sure I put enough glue um, underneath the 5x5 five five mirrors so that they can adhere properly to the larger ones I put a significant amount of glue Okay, now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the two mirrors at the top. Guys, if you're enjoying this DIY, please hit the subscribe button. Please share this video. Please like this video. It really helps the channel out a lot. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off the very end of the foam board. I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and cut it off and that's going to give it a clean edge. Okay so now this is the way the mirror looks at this point. It can definitely be left this way. I love the way this looks um, but of course I'm going to add a little bit extra to it um, just to kind of 
give it that extra little flair. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna add those gemstones that I found at the Dollar Tree uh, right around the center just to kind of give it a little extra flair. So the thing I like about these gemstones is that they have an adhesive already on the back of it. And so I'm not going to add any glue to it. Now if they start to peel off later on, I will go back and add some, um, some clear glue to it or some hot glue. So I'm just adding two rows of the gemstones right around the center of the, um, the two large mirrors. Um, you could definitely go in with three or four rows, but um, I'm just going to go in with two rows. And then once I get done putting in the two rows, I'm just going to take one strip and go right down the center where those two large mirrors come together. And you'll see me do that in a minute. I absolutely love using these gemstones because they have their own adhesive on the back and that makes it really easy and really quick. And I'm also going to take the same gemstones and go around the edge of the entire mirror covering up the, um, the foam board. Now you don't have to cover up the foam board. It doesn't look bad or anything, but since I have the gemstones, I decided to go ahead and go around the edge as well. And I actually, I actually like the way it looks. So here it is where I was telling you, I'm going to go down the very center with a one row of gemstones just to cover up where the two mirrors come together, but it's not really noticeable. So you could definitely go without doing that. So I absolutely love the way this mirror looks. Let me show you the finished product. Guys, this is the finished product in my craft room. I absolutely love it. Oh gosh, I'm so glad that I did this. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the mirror DIY. Now for you guys that have emailed me about centerpiece videos for different parties and things like that. Um, I am going to try to get to some of those. My schedule is really, really hectic right now, but I'm definitely going to try to get to some of them right now. I would like to thank you all. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, my friends.